right, it's time to rank another soundtrack. And this time I'm going to be doing Mega Man X on the Super NES. Like usual, I'm just doing the stage themes. So no opening title theme, no ending, no boss battle, etc. Just the stage themes. So with the eight Maverick stages, the four Sigma Fortress stages, and then the intro stage, we've got 13 all together. I'll preface this like I normally do by saying that this list is just my opinion. It's not meant to be taken seriously. I respect everybody else's opinions as well, so if my list differs from yours, feel free to express it. Leave it in the comments. I encourage discussion and debate, but I also encourage to respect my and anybody else's opinions as well. So without any further ado, let's get on with the list. Number 13, Sigma Stage 3. This one's obviously going for that Mission Impossible-esque spy movie feel, which is okay, I guess, but what the hell is with all the weird sounds that they throw in? There's these laser blasts, which are the biggest offenders because they show up all the fucking time, and they're not a good fit at all. And neither are these abrasive hits. Why is that even there? Even some of the riffs themselves are just not very good. The song makes me react with that stink eye stare that you give to somebody when you're really uncomfortable with them. That's how I am with the song. Number 12, Launch Octopus. Eh, uh, this one has some issues. The lead synth riffs are fine. But the bass is just not fluid. It sounds too robotic and fake. The notes don't flow into each other at all. And then there's the orchestral hits, which, ugh. Not only do they sound bad, because brass instruments don't translate well to synthesizers, but the brass is front and center on these hits. They're mixed high, so they're right up front, and they happen a lot in the song, so... It's just a real big clunky mess. The shitty sounding brass is front and center, up front, and frequent. So it's just a lot of it. The song could have been better if it were produced better. Not like it would have been one of my favorites or anything like that, but it could have been saved. Number 11, Sigma Stage 4. Boy, I have a hard time putting this one so low. It's so creepy and ominous, and there's this searing hum that fades in and out to keep your attention. It would have just blended in with the background and become a white noise otherwise. So it's cool that it's there. The problem is, it's only a four second loop that plays over and over again. It's such a damn shame, because there are some cool things going on here. And I get it, it's not really much of a stage. And it fits the setting of being right before the final boss. But I would have liked there to be another section or two of the song. In terms of, you know, listening to it independently from the game. It sounds like it would have been a great intro to a full song. Number 10, intro stage. Very upbeat. Uh, has some cool licks. But there's a lot more noodling than anything in particular being memorable. It just kind of is what it is. Number 9, Sting Chameleon. The verses are upbeat, but the riffs are fairly generic. They kind of are what they are. But it does go into a cool breakdown, which I think was needed for the pacing. And it has a nice melody with a funny little whoosh at the end as it transitions back into the verse. Number eight, Boomer Kuanga. Again, I'm not big on those orchestral hits. They sound too jarring and stabby. The refrain is pretty good, and there's a turnaround that reminds me of the one from Tomahawk Man in Mega Man 6. But overall, it's nothing special. Number seven, Sigma Stage Two. I go back and forth on this one. The intro and verses sound a lot alike. The chords and notes are more or less the same. They're just in a different order. But what I like is that the subtle way that the riffs in the verse start. There's this rough, almost sloppy on purpose tone to the first couple notes 
almost like whoever was playing it was trying to find the right note and then fidgeted around a bit until they found it. And then they kept it that way. It just sounds cool. And while the verse and intro sound similar in general, thankfully there's a breakdown that adds variety. It's nothing special, but it sounds pretty and it gives the main portion of the song a much needed breather for a bit. The end transition back into the intro is a little abrupt though. It's not a big deal, just a minor nitpick. Number six, Flame Mammoth. The refrain shreds. Also, the turnarounds are cool, but I think they happen way too often. It gets to the point where it just kind of causes the song to stutter, like a car that has a hard time changing gears. I often like when songs mess with you and get unpredictable, but I think this was a bit on the overkill side. It actually took away the unpredictability because it happens so often that you can predict it. But still, it's a cool song with some nice drumming, and again, that refrain is awesome. Number 5, Sigma Stage 1. I love the bass in this one. It has a great slap-ass tone, and it's layered nicely on the verses, which have a simple chord progression with one note that sustains for each measure. So that slap bass fills things up well and really gives it a unique flavor on top of the moodiness of the song. The other part of the rhythm section does the same thing. The drums change up tempo from time to time, which breathes new life into some of the sections. Like that intro slash verse, it sounds different in each segment depending on how the drums are going. Despite changing up quite a bit throughout the song, it's still generally up-tempo, but it isn't quite as upbeat. Like I said, it's very moody, and it does stand out quite a bit from the rest of the soundtrack. Number four, Chill Penguin. The intro is a bit odd. It starts with this cascading synth sequence that ends up showing up in other parts of the song, so that makes sense. But then it goes into this weird-ass little riff that sounds like it's the opening to a game show. But once it falls into the main verse, that's when the song really happens. I love the jazzy drums. They're tight and change up quite a bit. The song itself has a fitting chill vibe and despite the fact that the song has room to breathe it still sounds full there's plenty of little textures thrown in to fill all the gaps but like i said there's still space at the same time it's weird it's more of a mood piece than anything but it's really effective number three armored armadillo this one rocks the brass section lead really kicks you in the face I know I mentioned brass not sounding good synthesized, but this one has a distortion onto it that gives it that aggressive rock feel, and the drums are also heavy and aggressive. It's up-tempo from start to finish, and then back again. The main riff in the verse is the most memorable, hooky part of the song, hell, maybe even the whole soundtrack. But the refrain mixes things up with a busier riff, which leads right into a crazy solo, so the whole thing builds up quite a bit from the ground up. Even if it is up-tempo all throughout, I like when songs have that much dynamic without having to drastically change the flow. It's seamless, and it works well. Number two, Storm Eagle. It's fast-paced, energetic. It's a hard rock song all day. I mean, you can tell right away what this is all about with the guitar riff in the intro. Really good playing, has some really cool licks, and a nice solo that descends at the end, which blends together with the intro riff that makes its return, this time with the beat. Cool stuff. And number one, Spark Mandrill. What I love about this song is how it manages to be catchy, but still complex at the same time. And it doesn't repeat riffs all that much, so there's a variety and unpredictability to it, which I'm big on. There's a nice contrast of the solo going on along with another background guitar that's sustaining the root note. It gives the song another layer that helps round it off even more. Just really good production. And the drums are really good throughout, but there's a little drum solo right at the end of the loop. 
Good God, I need to change my pants after that. So that'll do it for this list. Here is a quick recap. At number 13, Sigma Stage 3. Number 12, Launch Octopus. Number 11, Sigma Stage 4. Number 10, Intro Stage. Number 9, Sting Chameleon. Number 8, Boomer Kawanger. Number 7, Sigma Stage 2. Number 6, Flame Mammoth. Number 5, Sigma Stage 1. Number 4, Chill Penguin. Number 3, Armored Armadillo. Number 2, Storm Eagle. And number 1, Spark Mandrill. So that's it for this list. What are your thoughts? What's your opinion of the soundtrack or the list in general? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. And I'll see you next time.